Putin spokesman dismisses nuclear threat and swats away Biden's speech as insult. Putin spokesman in the Kremlin has laid bare Russia's nuclear threat and swatted away Joe Biden's Warsaw speech as a personal insult during an interview with an American news network. Russia would only use nuclear weapons if there is a threat to the country's existence, a Moscow official has confirmed. There has been much speculation about whether Vladimir Putin would use nuclear weapons. Donald Trump's British-born ex-national security adviser Fiona Hill even warned nuclear is on the table. However, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told PBS NewsHour on Monday, any outcome of the operation in Ukraine, of course, is not a reason for usage of a nuclear weapon. We have a security concept that very clearly states that only when there is a threat for existence of the state in our country, we can use and we will actually use nuclear weapons to eliminate the threat for the existence of our country. Peskov was also asked about comments made by US President Joe Biden in Warsaw. The 46th president described Vladimir Putin as a butcher and declared the Russian leader should no longer remain in power. He said, Brutality will never grind down the will to be free. Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia. Biden added, for God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. Peskov said Mr. Biden's remarks were not only quite alarming but also a personal insult. He added, of course, it is completely unacceptable. It is not for the United States president to decide who is going to be and who is the president of the Russian Federation. Mr. Biden's comments also faced criticism from Western allies. French President Emmanuel Macron, who has been seen as a key ally to Washington despite Paris' frustration with the AUK-US submarine agreement, responded by saying, I think we must do everything to avoid the situation getting out of hand. I wouldn't use these kinds of words because I'm still in talks with President Putin. A Downing Street spokesperson claimed Boris Johnson is not pursuing regime change in Moscow and claimed it is up to the Russian people how they are governed. Defense Select Committee Chair and ex-Defense Minister Tobias Elwood called Mr. Biden's remarks unwise. The Bournemouth East MP added, it's for the Russian people to draw this, obvious, conclusion. Putin, she, and many Russians, will now read regime change, as POTUS, wider objective, beyond supporting Ukraine.